Here I'm just going to show you the very basics of how to find the volume of a cuboid. This can really be done in one of two ways but both will get the same results. The first way is to find the area of the front face, this bit here that I'm now shading in. To find the area of this face you multiply 5 by 2 because it is 2 meters up and 5 meters across. So 5 times 2 which gives me 10 and the units for area because just the area of the front face in this case is meters squared. Once I have the area of the front face I then multiply this by how far the cuboid stretches back which is 6 meters. So I then do 10 meters squared multiplied by 6 meters which gives me an answer of 60 meters cubed and that's my final answer. This is probably the best way of thinking about volume because you can then use this method for any other shape you get as long as you can calculate the area of the front face and you'll always be given the formula to find the volume of a, a prism on the front of the exam paper so it's worth remembering this method. The alternative method which always works for cuboids is just to go ahead and multiply the three dimensions together so we have four meters multiplied by three meters multiplied by two meters four times three is twelve multiplied by two is twenty four so my answer in this case is twenty four and the, vo the volume is all in always in meters cubed or centimeters cubed so it's twenty four meters cubed Try pressing pause and having a go see if you can find the volume of these two using whichever method you prefer. Once you've worked them out, if you press play again, I'll make sure the answers are on the screen for you. This one's slightly more difficult, so more of an extension activity if you like. What you're actually given here is the volume and it's asking you to calculate the missing dimension which is x, this value here. So try pressing pause and see if you can find out what the value of x is and then when you press play again you can have a look and see if you got it right. You should have found that x was equal to 4 meters because 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 so I need to work out what I need to multiply 6 by to get 24 6 multiplied by 4 is 24, so x must be 4 meters. Made with DoodleCast Pro.